Hello everyone, in this video I just want to talk about some thoughts that I have and it's actually night in Austria said that in many many videos before yeah, I was singing today sometimes I'm just not in the mood to sing and I'm feeling so horrible it's like God just is taking away my voice and then he gives it back to me like sometimes i don't know i just feel like a, a spirit is going into me and it's really rare that this happens and then i'm i sing much better it's really rarely that i sing exactly so perfect that that i love it and yeah i don't know why but i'm just so sad all the time i have so much depression and the teachers are giving so much schoolwork, sometimes homework, because we have still the virus. We have still the quarantine. And we only will go to school on the 3rd of June. So that's a long time. And it's really, really hard for me to keep up with all the work. It's really, really hard. And I'm getting sometimes so tired or so sad that I'm even starting to cry. And it just depresses me so much and I, my head is starting to hurt or just feeling so horrible. So to be more calm, I just started meditating and it actually really helps sometimes. I, I even noticed that if you meditate, you're getting so calm that you even sing better. I don't know why, but when I was meditating and... The result from my singing after the meditation was so amazing. I thought that that wasn't me at all. I don't know how, how this can work, but it really helps. So if you're a singer, just can go, go and meditate and you will see the result. Yeah, another stuff I wanted to tell you is a crazy one. Like sometimes I feel that there's someone around me like a ghost. Maybe some people do believe in ghosts. But I do believe in them, so it's really sometimes scary. I don't know if that's my imagination or if I, or if there's really someone here, since I do believe in the supernatural. And like sometimes I feel that there's someone near me, but I don't see anyone. Or even that someone is touching me, but there's no one here. So I don't know if that's my mind playing tricks on me or if there's really someone here, since... I don't think that someone is here, maybe it's just my mind. Yes. Another stuff I want to talk about. I just have a crush on a new actor. He was actually born in um austria hungary i think you say that so his name is peter lorry and like i have watching i have been watching so many movies with him and i loved him since today but since today i actually really hate him because i have been reading an ebook with him and do you know what there was oh my goodness i don't know why but i hate nerds because in the book stands that Peter Lorre was amazing in some in most subjects. Like he had one in writing and what was the other thing? In art, I think he had A, yes. In Austria, we say no, um, numbers. And I have no idea how, I can't believe this, but he has B in maths, history, um, geology, and some other subject, geography, I think. And that's really made me crazy. I hate, I just hate him now. I don't know why, but I can't stand him at the moment. And I'm feeling like he's near me, but he's not near me. So this has been really making me mad. So mad. It's actually raining right now outside. I don't know why, but my hair is almost always in a big mess. It's almost in every video. My hair is in such a big mess. 
and sometimes I'm I'm often like in the morning I'm even I don't even have to put an alarm on because I'm automatically getting up at five six seven o'clock because we have online lesson lessons so I'm just getting up to have the lesson oh my goodness I've been so so sad since since today I have been re feeling really bad sometimes I feel really bad because I'm just so depressed I don't know what to do but it's just horrible and now I want to talk about school again since I just want to share some experience like the things I learned from millionaires and billionaires like school that school ruins you which is true before I was going to this school I loved French but now I I don't know I just don't really care anymore I don't really like it anymore I don't know it's just depressing me our school system is corrupt I need to tell you this because other people might not know poor people are poor because they don't have a rich mindset and they just don't know what how to get rich why are so many people poor because in school nobody teaches you about money just want to mention that because no one else will tell you this except a billionaire because they know what is right for you not teachers i have been learning from many billionaires like dan Locke. he's a youtuber and from many other robert kiyosaki i think that's his name he's also a billionaire a mentor who teaches people you should check him out because he really opens your mind to the right thing so yeah i'm just mentioning some great people that will teach you the right stuff to do and yeah which is true school ruins me I love French but I just don't really anymore and what really shocked me I did not think that this was possible I was watching a movie where Peter Lorre was talking in French with his own voice I was so shocked okay I was so shocked that I didn't know that if this was real or not but I think it's his voice because if it's it wouldn't be his voice, I would recognize it. So it is his voice. It is his voice. What I think is really sad that that how do you say that? Mostly Peter Lorre was only playing in a bad character. But I have seen and read that in real life he was the complete opposite of what he was playing. He was nice and kind. So, yes. But he was always cast as a bad character. Which is sad because he's so handsome. I wish he would have played in more romantic movies. Although I'm really mad about reading, after reading uh, a part of this ebook, it's called The Lost One. It's a biography. F and yeah, I read that he left his house because he also couldn't take something. So he just left his house, but he didn't have any money. He even slept in some boxes or, and Peter Lorre also traded his jacket to get some food. Which is horrible. Yeah, I would just want to share something with you. The book has, I think, 600, 500 pages or so. That's a lot. And you should download this book. You can get it online for free. There are a lot of great things that I didn't know before. And the most amazing thing is, I first saw Peter Lorre in the film You'll Find Out 1940, I think. It's also with Bella Lugosi, but I only became a fan like since a few days ago. I have no idea how I never know how I could not notice him before. 
because how is that possible i don't know so yeah it's still raining outside i've also read that in the book about peter lowry that um I've, i'm starting to forget that he didn't like his stepmom and well maybe he liked no he didn't like her i also read that peter lorry did not help his brothers to do the chores cause i don't know how to say it anymore and he just was so amazing in school that he just didn't have to put any efforts into it while all of his brothers like were putting any effort in all the schoolwork he just got straight grades good grades without giving any effort i have no idea how this is possible and the rain is getting a bit like the rain is getting stronger if you can hear it i don't know if you can hear it or not <sighs> okay yeah so yeah i just want to say goodbye now and i will after reading the full book i will just tell you some other things about peter lorry that i will want to share so yeah so yeah now i want to talk about some of my video ideas that i got i always have a lot of ideas like some people don't have there are people that don't know which type of video they should do but uh that never ha happened to me i always have so many ideas so many that i never ever had the time when i thought wow what video should i make like so yeah i just want to talk about some of my video ideas that i didn't make now that i still did not do because i didn't have time yeah now the first idea is about me playing a witch sabrina the teenage witch if you know that i want to but there's some problems i want to change the background but with the app it looks horrible and like you can still see the room on it's just of bad quality so i'm not sure yet how i should change the background yeah that's why i still didn't make the series another another stuff how do you call this when i was sitting and watching peter lorry or so i was holding the charger in my hands okay and i was thinking what if i play a murder that murders someone with a charger i have no idea why this came to my mind but i just thought of that so and I also want to make a video about the top four most amazing clown movies. I will make this video soon, maybe, I don't know. And another stuff. There are so many songs that I want to record, but the problem is I hate my voice. I don't know why, but it really rarely comes out it's really rare that I sing so amazing that I can't believe it, but it is. I'm also planning to sing someone else's boy from Connie Francis in German, because I already made it in English and... French, yes. And which I thought, another of my video idea, to put Peter Lorre in this video. Oh my goodness. But really, since I, wrote, I read this book today, I'm so mad. I hate him now. I can't stand him. Like I've been watching so many movies with him. I was so fascinated by him. And now I'm so horribly, horribly mad at him. Which is not amazing. Okay, now, it is, it may sound crazy, but I, um, I'm already hearing his voice in my mind all the time. And 
wherever I see, like if I look at this place or at that place, I can see him. Okay, I'm definitely imagining his image, but it's getting scary sometimes. Sometimes I feel uncomfortable when I feel that there's a ghost around or my imagination. But sometimes I feel really comfortable when I feel someone else's presence, although it's no one here, although there's no one here, but I do feel someone, like I'm even now feeling someone and it's kind of uncomfortable. You can write me in the comments if you believe in ghosts, because yeah. So today I got up early at 7 or so, yeah, and we had another online lesson. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about before. I don't know why, but sometimes I'm just not feeling well on this earth and I sometimes want to die. I don't know why, but I do want to die. I love the old times, everything was better back then, the fashion was better. Um, the music, the films, the actors, everything was so amazing. And I had sometimes have the feeling like that I have heard this song before, although I didn't. So I think I do believe in past lives. And I think I was born in my... I was born before this life. So I do believe in the past life. And another scary thing I wanted to say... It's really scary, but sometimes I feel like I was that singer in my last life because sometimes a voice out of me comes out where I can't believe it. I'm singing exactly like her, the same voice or same expression. And it really scares me. I don't know how this is possible. Maybe I was really, maybe a part of my past life comes out. So this is really scary. I'm still feeling watched right now. I don't know why, but I'm really scared at the moment. Like someone is watching at me, but there's no one here. I don't know if there's a ghost in our house or if I'm just imagining that, that, that stuff. But I'm really, really scared right now. Another of my video idea that I want to share, it was like... I have so many video ideas and I still didn't make them. Another idea is um, a video about how a Scorpio girl is like the zodiac sign because I'm a Scorpio and I thought of making a video what is it like to be a Scorpio girl. So yeah, another thing I, I have in my mind since days, yeah. And the other video idea is what is it like to live as an old soul? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, too. Yes, it's still raining and I'm still scared because I'm feeling like someone is watching me. Yes, amazing. I don't even think that I will cut this video. I will just upload it as it is. So please like this video if you liked it. Or maybe I will cut the video, yeah. But I'm telling you guys, I'm so mad. I love Peter Lord. I thought he was the most amazing one. But now I'm just hating him. So, yeah. Sadly, Peter Lorre only made one movie that he directed and wrote. 
It's called The Last One, exactly like the book. And it's really amazing. It's in German. It was made in 1951, I think, or 53. Uh, yeah, it was either 1951 but, or 1953, but it was made in the 50s. And I love this movie. I will watch it again because it's so amazing. Another thing um, that I want to mention is that Pizza Laurie got famous with the movie M. That was made, I think, 1935 or 1931. I'm, get, I'm starting to forget really easily, so I'm not sure, but it was in the 1930s. Where he was playing a killer that killed little girls. That's the movie he got famous for. That's why the, the idea with the charger came to me. I don't know if I'm going to do this. I hate playing bad characters or people that kill someone. And like, how should I act this out? Should I like make a video about me killing a, my mini mouse? <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I don't think I will do this. I don't know. Okay, I'm still feeling watched. I think I'm also play, planning to... I'm planning to make a cover of the... Uh, of the song Ich stehe im Regen, like... It's called I stand in the rain. Yeah, it's called like this, the translate... The translation from okay guys I'll say it again I'm also planning to do maybe the French version of uh, Sarah Leander's song she was a she was born in Sweden I think yeah and I'm planning to do maybe the French version of the song too because I the last video was about the German version of the song. So that's what I'm planning to do. So yes, another thing I want to talk about Peter Lorre is like... Actually his, his real name isn't Peter Lorre because he was born as Laszlo... He has a funny name. Laszlo Löwenstein or just Ladislav, I think it was Ladislav. He was born with, that's his real name from the actor. But then they changed it to Peter Lorre. And I still think he's here, but he's not here. Okay. So I also want to say like that. How do you say that? He was hiding under the table, that's what's in the book, from his stepmother or something like that. Okay, that's really crazy, but I know. And yeah, his star sign is Cancer, I think. Yeah, Cancer. So just write me in the comments if you're a fan of Peter Lorre or what movies you have seen with him. I would really love to know that. And yeah, if you want, you can also write in the comments if you want me to talk German because I never talk German in my videos, I don't know why, but I never talk. And sometimes, I don't know why, but I think I, I sometimes hate German more than maths. Because the homework is killing me. It's killing me. So yeah, it's still raining outside. And I've also got a book from Christmas. I don't know, two, three years ago or four. I got a book on Christmas about Elvis Presley. It's on my table right there. And there are also many interesting facts about him or about his life. Things you can't really find online. So if you want me to make a video about that, then just tell me that in the comments. And 
I have also seen a really great motivation video from Da Man. He's a YouTuber. He has millions of subs, millions. And he made a video about how the YouTuber Nas, Nas Daily got famous. And it's really motivating. His first video already got millions of views, I think. It's really motivating. The video is about that it's... Yeah, it's it's a video about... Okay, I can't form sentences right now. How he just... Okay, I'll try to talk right now. The video is about how Nas Daily becomes famous and he like he le he is leaving his job because he is how do you call it? His boss is really bad to him and he just leaves to make to follow his passion and then yeah he got famous that's how it is. He was filming people like People that want to change the world. And his video got famous. And then he became a big YouTuber. And yeah, I have this... These hard earrings. I put them on today. I'm not wearing earrings daily. But I thought I will put them on today. They're such hard earrings. If you can see it, yeah. Okay, now it's time to say goodbye. Bye.